Joanna. I know Brooke. Um, I just want to take a second and mention um, an event that's coming up in Westmont, Illinois. We're at Ty Warner Park. It's hosted by the Westmont Lions Club. It's the Red, White, and Barbecue Barbecue Festival and Competition. It'll be held on Friday, May 27th, Saturday, May 28th, and Sunday, May 29th, the weekend before Memorial Day. Um, people that come out there to the festival, there'll be a carnival, there'll be music, there'll be barbecue vendors, and you'll be able to interact with the competitors, and you'll be able to... Um, you know, have a good time out there. We do have a caller on line one that would be uh, Chris from the uh, Westmont Lions Club. Hello, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Doing good. Hey, I just heard you guys talking about the, uh, the Lions Club, and uh, the, they kind of beat me to the punch. No, that's fine. Um, do you want to chime in on what's taking place Memorial Day weekend? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, my name's, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm the chairman. I'm the, I'm the, the, the big guy here. Uh, we've got, you name it. I mean, we've got all kinds of barbecue food vendors. Some of the best ones in the, in the Midwest are going to be out there. We've got free music all day long, every day. Uh, there's an all-ages carnival. We've got, a, we've got a Miller Beer Garden going. Um, you, know, there's, you name it, you can come out there. There's a professional competition and an amateur competition along with a festival. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll see 10, 20,000 people out there. Um, but one of one of the keynotes is we've got we got free uh, food demonstrations all weekend long. It is, uh, so go out, check out our website, uh, www.westmontbq.com. What do you think? I, I, I think it sounds great. Um, I'm going to look forward to it myself. Is there any one thing? That about this barbecue that really stands out like a sore thumb that that people should know about. Wait, what do you mean, like a sore thumb? <laughs> well, that this people. Is, this is a festival. This is a joyous occasion. There is no. Sore There's thumb. no sore thumbs in this, Dave. I mean, come on. I mean, this is fun time. We talk about entertainment. We're talking about carnival. We're I know. Talking about yeah, food. I mean, he, he, he I mean you know. Yourself. Yeah, he meant. Dave meant what? Uh, like, you know, sticks out is what would be the most popular. <laughs> Well, that's why I called my sidekick. Now we got it. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why. You know, but, uh, you know, I, I'll give you a quick rundown of some of the big acts that we have coming out. Um, on Friday night, we have Toronto Cannon, a great blues player from the city of Chicago. He sells out major clubs downtown. He's coming up to spend uh, Friday night with us. He goes on at 7.30. One of the big bands that we have going on on Saturday, and Saturday's going to be a great day, we have Cashmere. They're an uh, authentic representation of Led Zeppelin. So, you know, for us old people like, like you, Jimmy, um, we never got the chance to see Led Zeppelin, but guess what? We got that chance now because these guys are incredible. Um, and on Sunday, we have, yes, your boys' bands are opening the whole festival up, Marl's Alliance. MarlsAlliance.com. <laughs> yep, you got it. And then uh, we've got a, another band um, called Forecast. They, they play 40 years of rock and roll. You name it, they'll play it. You can even ask them for certain songs, and they'll jump up there and play it. So this is just going to be an incredible weekend. Can you let us know again where we can go for additional information in regards to this uh, Red, White, and Barbecue? Absolutely. It's, uh, again, it's www.westmontdbq.com. When does the event open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? What are the hours? All right, Friday, the whole event starts at 5 o'clock in the evening and goes till 10.30. And then Saturday and Sunday, it starts at noon and goes uh, Saturday is till 10.30 and then Sunday is till 9. Is there any notable uh, barbecue vendors um, that are going to be selling food out there that you might want to mention? Well, one of, one of the big barbecue vendors that we have out there this year, they're called the Texas Outlaws. Just, they have got some of oh my god, the best barbecue you can taste. Uh, we have uh, you know, plenty of food for everybody. I, I could go down the list, but it'd take me a week. Okay. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, Chris. We want to thank you for calling in to the Wise You Can radio show. Uh, we're going to have a great time. Everyone, you got to check this out from May 27th to May 29th at Ty Warner Park in good old Westmont, Illinois. You want to check out 
the Red, White, and Barbecue Festival is in the fifth year. There's going to be entertainment, carnivals, food. You got it. You're going to have fun. Come out, folks. We want to see you all. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thanks, Judy and Dave. Bye. Well, that was fun, Joanna, wasn't it? I mean, everyone likes Absolutely. a good festival. And don't you agree that towns make up communities and community? You know, we're talking about real estate here. This is one of the reasons, one of the reasons, maybe not the top reason, but one of the reasons why somebody chooses where they live. Uh, well, we found that um, the communities that are have a train line in them, like Elmhurst or Westmont or Hinsdale, they always will tend to draw the buyers first. It's always more difficult when a community doesn't have that access to the train line because we are so close to downtown Chicago that a lot of people who work in the city, of course, live in the out, outside western suburbs in our area. And so areas, so if, let's say, Burr Ridge gets hit by this decline in values of housing that's happening right now, of course. Um, Hinsdale is not going to have as much, or Elmhurst, or Western Springs, or you know Westmont, or Downers Grove, Lyle, Naperville, anything that's along the train line, you will see that they're, they seem to bounce back better and quicker well, than the other communities. I'm kind of noticing a trend out there that the people that, that transition from what you normally see around the tracks to more high density um, what people are referring to as a transit oriented design well I think part of that is too they like the convenience of the walk to situation and if they're moving from Especially with these gas prices right and if they're moving from the downtown area they're accustomed to doing more walking than we are that have always been in the suburbs so they like the convenience of, I can go to the grocery store, or I can go to the bakery, and I don't have to drive my car there. So that's another, And you know, know what I've been noticing, uh, Dave and Joanne, uh, is that uh, I have been noticing a lot more bikes at the Metro of, in the suburbs, you know, when yeah. I'm doing, you know, going around, you know, and I see a lot more people walking. There seems to be, a, I mean, there's a lot less people driving into the city where they're working. But with that said, I want to ask a specific question, and this is, uh, is going to be a, a, a question, a, a real estate professional question here uh, for you, and that's FISBOs. Um, why should, a, why should a, 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 for FISBO, by the way, is for sale by owner, which we're seeing a lot of, but why should they use a realtor instead of trying to sell a property by themselves, Joanna? What, what would be the reason? Could you give us like five to ten reasons why? <laughs> I don't know if I can give you all, all right. those reasons, but one of them is always commission, because a lot of owners feel, well, if I can save that 5% or 6% that the realtor is, is charging me, then that'll go all in my pocket. What they don't realize is the amount of work that's involved in actually um, marketing your home, and that's why you're hiring a realtor. So they feel that and I think when you see the ads for salebyowner.com or help you sell, those are all what they're pushing is that you're going to be saving that um, commission. Now, many for sale by owners do work with realtors, let's say, on the buy side. So let's say you have your sign on the front lawn, a realtor drives past and sees that sign. Now, we cannot call you um, because the do not call list. So, <laughs> oh, the uh, list again. So that, yeah. We're talking about a list the last show. So, um, you know, when we can call you is, let's say I'm working with a client. I've showed that client everything that's in that neighborhood. They don't like anything. And now all of a sudden, you know, there's your sign in the front lawn. So I can call you and say, um, you know, dear Mr. Seller, I'm working with a client that is specifically wants this neighborhood. Would you be willing to cooperate with me and let me show your property? Many sellers will do that. So instead of spending 5% on commission, they're only going to be spending 2.5% because they're only going to be paying the buyer's agent in this situation. Um, so that, that occurs. Um, you're really cutting off 
you know, a lot of avenues when you're trying to sell your home yourself because nowadays everything is on the the web. And when you're working with a company like the company I'm with or any other real estate company out there, you're going to be put on you know, a minimum of 40 websites. Now, if you try to do that by yourself, minimum of 40? Yeah, well, you know, oh. we've um, are going to be on all the newspaper websites, so it's going to be you know, ChicagoTribune.com or the Herald.com. Uh, so wherever your house is located, they're going to be using that local newspaper website, along with Trulia, AOL, Yahoo, uh, call you know, like my company CaldwellBanker.com has two different sites: OpenHouse.com, um, Zillow. And all the biggies. Yeah, all the biggies. You're gonna your house is realtor.com, which is you know probably the <laughs> biggest uh, real estate um, website out there. And in and um, you know wallstreetjournal.com is going to be an, on on an overseas uh, international site. So if there's any buyers that are coming from uh, Europe or the Middle East or China, whatever, they're going to be able to see it. So. If you try to do that on your own, just the amount of money that you would have to spend to order to put your uh, place, your property on the market, is unbelievable. Plus, you're you're really hiring a person who has ex expertise. You know, we're going to be doing the open houses for you. We will screen the buyers for you because most of us have um, some loan officers that we work with, and uh, so those. You know, so yeah, you're saving money, but not really. It sounds and, like any other anything else out there that you're you're trying to go after. If you, you're not going to learn how to be a doctor overnight, you're going to go out there and specialist. hire a professional. Yeah, you're a professor. You're, you're you know, Joanna Underwood is a, a work. she's a licensed broker associate specializing in relocation and other things in real estate. So you definitely want to give Joanna Underwood at Caldwell Banker a call. Uh, her number, and I will give her her business number, is 630-954-4600. And what's your voicemail number, Joanne? It's 630-928-8816. That's my direct line at the office. And my cell number is 630-738-7193. And, uh, of course, uh, the realtors, we are our professional license. They're equal opportunity realtors. And... We want to say this was a fast 30 minutes, you know. <laughs> yes. uh, we did have a nice uh, you know, public service announcement. Um, I do want to mention, uh, my son is graduating Elmhurst College on uh, the 28th, so I'm not going to be here next week. But Dave, you, and if you would join, would you join Dave and help, please help my side kick out here? <laughs> <laughs> and, do you allow that, kick, Nick? Kick, yeah. Yeah. kick me inside. Once yeah, in a while. And, and we're going to, they're going to continue this wonderful conversation about fizzbos and closings and whatever they want to talk about in real estate. So in the meantime, this has been the YSU, Joanne, thank you so much. Joanne Underwood, you're, you're wonderful. One of our best guests we've had so far. Wink, wink. Okay. Just tune so, in. You'll be surprised what you'll hear next week. So check out uh, YSUCan.com. That's my uh, my internet site. And uh, you, you guys have yourself a YSUCan day, a YSUCan week, and a YSUCan month. Bye, guys. Bye. Good job, Yeah. Yeah, it goes back quick, doesn't it? Well, you got a lot. And you said you couldn't come up with 10 reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I think I counted like about 20 of them. That is wonderful. That was good. See, this is what we need, professionals like this. You know what I mean? So, so when I, I was so fortunate to hear uh, join on the, on the show. And oh, it was wonderful. And my so. husband's show, yeah. my show. Yeah. He, he, he called me in at the last minute. He's like, I don't understand.